Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jack Septic Bucket, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, what's that? We're not playing Five Nights at Freddy's? Elden Ring? People still play that? Fine, fine. Okay, sounds good. Oh, can you pick up some energy drinks for me? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Rust, and welcome back to another episode of Getting Good. For those of you that watch my videos, you'll know that I'm in two weapon classes, great swords and heavy thrusting swords. And you might be saying to yourself, ah, the dirty unbalanced heavy thrusting sword, great, another meta slave. Well, yeah, I am. But today, I bring you some kernels of information that I picked up as a slave of the meta game, in various types of jump attacks and how to avoid pitfalls that come with more complicated jumps. After I cover the basics of the information, I'll give you some clips at the end of the video to demonstrate scenarios where this information is directly applied. Starting out, we need to talk about momentum. You can perform a short hop if you just jump at a jogging pace, and you can perform a long jump if you start off at a sprinting pace. Both have their own utility, but it really comes down to what your goal is. Most weapons could secure a decent roll catch out of hit stun with a short hop, whereas a long jump may be better if you're trying to close neutral. Neutral is the space between you and your opponent, where attack priority is determined based on the amount of pressure that you can apply. Cool. Here's where we get into instant momentum jumps. From standing, you have to wait for your character to complete a full step before you can perform a long jump. But if you hold block and sprint at the same time, you can input a long jump just after the first frame of movement. It's important to note that if you input a jump while block cancelling during recovery frames, such as either landing frames or attack recovery frames, your jump input will be eaten. Reverse jumps are where things start to get a little more complicated. You need to be unlocked from your opponent when going for your attack. While unlocked, perform the reverse jump by starting at a sprint. Input your jump, and then immediately flick the direction stick toward your opponent. This type of jump can be often described as fucking terrifying, because if you mix up your attacks well, it becomes very hard to predict when it's coming out. You can execute a reverse jump with instant momentum by using the block cancel previously mentioned. This jump can be a little tricky. If you get your direction at the same time as the jump, or even a little earlier, then you'll likely end up with this really awkward neutral pivot. Or, you'll just perform a short hop. My advice, stay locked off completely while doing these jumps. If you lock onto your target before you change directions, you'll jump in the wrong direction and look very stupid. For delayed jump attacks, you wait until your landing frames to execute the attack. This allows you to do a landing pivot up to a full 180 degrees. Being able to pivot 180 degrees is very useful, especially if your opponent is a filthy quick step backstabber like me. Empty jumps are basically what they sound like, but you get a lot more utility out of them than you may realize. The pressure of knowing an attack may come is just as oppressive as the attack itself. An empty jump to close neutral can force your opponent out of plane passively by baiting an attack when spaced properly, which may open up the opportunity to counter-aggress. You can also empty jump into a running attack as a fairly reliable roll catch against people that react to the jump itself. Neutral jumps are one of the most powerful tools in your kit against many different setups which normally have really high pressure. Where any amount of momentum in a jump may get you obliterated, like when matched up against dual spears, a well-spaced neutral jump will allow you to outspace the attack with the iframes on your legs, while being able to punish with the JR2 of your own. You generally can't neutral jump out of hit stun, even on good latency, so I honestly wouldn't even try it. But against weapons that prefer wave dashing and crouch attacks, a neutral jump can provide instant pressure and force your opponent to roll. Finally, backwards jumps. This is a new tech to me that I've only just started to incorporate into my toolkit. I learned it from Sip, one of the top 10 players on the ladder. He makes excellent use of backwards jumps, and I strongly recommend that you go check out his channel on Twitch and drop him a follow. You know when you build the fort in the Fortnite, we can build forts. Oh, 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 I know what to do. Start building or blocked? I've got you, dude. I've got you. First thing, you're, bu you're building in Fortnite. Wait, is that what you're saying? Yeah. I miss old Who, Who's your quest? I'm gonna ban them. Uh, don't, don't ban them. <laughs> don't do that. They're I'm a viewer. <laughs> I'm a viewer. No, I'm not. Holy Close shit, he's building. I built. I, I popped I popped the shield. Where are you? I used the, the chug jug, and, and then I, I built. <laughs> not the chug jug. The chug jug. What did you parry in this case? Nothing. You could have parried that. that. Okay. You could have parried that. You could have parried that. 
think it's just not. You should try and parry this. <laughs> nice one. I think that it's important to note that he plays with mouse and keyboard, so for those of you looking for an expert on those controls, he is the guy to go to. Backwards jumps uses a similar input sequence as reverse quick step, starting locked onto your opponent, input backwards with the direction stick, followed by a jump, followed by unlock. This can't be done while sprinting, so it will always result in a short jump, and it's best used when trading momentum with your opponent or if you expect them to roll behind you. If you couple the backwards jump with the delayed jump attack, you can pivot back around as you land. This moves your hands out of the way, so even if your opponent anticipates a jump attack, they're more than likely going to whip their punish. That does it for the voiceover segment of the video. I'll be going over a showcase of these texts in the following clips. If you enjoyed the video or found the information useful at all, feel free to like and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments if you gained anything from the video or what I can do to improve in the future.